Hello, this is Jenna Flower from Abundance Amplified Tarot and more. Wow. Wow. Look at this Empress here, okay? Whoever is resonating with this, as soon as you let go of what is no longer serving you, this Empress births this whole new world. And I, I'm getting that this is going to be something magnanimous. Like you might have been working something already and then all of the sudden... All of this abundance just pours in. Uh, this has to do with some kind of a painful situation here. Lessons are learned is what I'm hearing. You need to make the decision. You are going to be making this decision. Okay. The sun is going to shine. Oh my goodness. Okay. You're going straight into the nine of pentacles. You've built on a really solid foundation here and you're going straight into the Ten of Wands. Okay, this is huge, huge, huge stuff here. Okay, we've got a Ten of Cups coming in as well, right? You guys have built a sanctuary or you will be building a sanctuary not only for yourself but for others. This, For some of you, I feel like you could be in the service industry and you're literally going to create a model that is going to be replicated because it's so great, right? You're going to be, this is a service, okay, to others. But I also feel like you've built this in your own life. This came about because you learned how to self-regulate. You took, um, you've taken your skills and you've honed them. You've taken, you've processed a lot of things here, okay? Some of you, I feel like, yeah, here we go. I cannot even make this up. This is going to be huge. You could be pulling in a partner uh, at some point. If that's what you want, you could be pull, pulling in a partnership to help you along with this. We've got luck is on your side here. Wow. So as soon as you're done processing whatever it is that you have to process, and as soon as you let go, okay, you have talk about leveling up, right? I also hear slow but steady letting go. Okay, um, I feel like some of this residual stuff will keep coming up for you guys. And you're just, you're practicing now something that's going to serve you tremendously in the future here. This was after, you know, a pretty decent devastation episode, right? But we have aces coming in. Action. <laughs> Clarity. Okay. Oh my gosh, here's another one, right? You've got like all these aces coming out here. The time is now. That was then. This is now is what I'm hearing for you. Okay. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting letters. I'm getting like S and J. Um, I'm also seeing an O. Um, the number eight may be very significant for you. It could be an anniversary um, it's tied to the infinity symbol. If that means something to somebody, I'm trying to just throw these images and these visions out here so that if you guys need clar clarification, this is for you, you're going to get it. Okay. Unbelievable. The four aces that popped out here for you. Okay. I'm also getting have faith in your dreams. All right. Have faith in your dreams. I'm going to pull an Oracle card for you. I'm also seeing something, I'm seeing like warm weather, sand, okay. Uh, some of you might be, you know, studying right now into like Egypt and that, uh, those ancient arts, looking into that. Um, you're being asked, how are you being called to step up and lead here? Your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. OK, this is a great reminder that, you know, whatever answers we seek come from within us. I feel like somebody's going to be helping a lot of people. Have you answered your deepest calling? I feel like somebody um, somebody is already a teacher. Perhaps you're already out doing things, but um, there's a there's a higher calling for you. Uh, for some of you, I've got just the answer is yes. Okay, somebody could have been offered a new job here. Yep, I feel like you guys have survived a lot of things. Um, 
And the warning here as you rise, okay, because I feel like you're going to be rising very quickly. Be aware of your reputation, your influence, the power to create, your power to create, preserve, or destroy, okay? And I know it's powerful women there, but powerful people are often misunderstood, okay? So be aware of how you are putting, projecting yourself out into the world, all right? Come from that higher perspective. Yeah, you know, people misunderstand me a lot of times, uh, or not a lot of times, but some people do, because um, you know I'm I actively carry a lot of empath ability and uh, healing, and I will come from that perspective. And if somebody's not tuned in with that, they take it as an offense, right? And they get defensive. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, I think you might have misunderstood me here, right? What what about what I just said or did offended you? Let's talk through this, right? Make plans and focus. Trust your talents in changing times. I love this card. I love this card, right? What a beautiful card. Okay, so make sure that you are, you know how they tell you to read the room? You know, sometimes less is more. Sometimes people um, take offense. It's not about telling people what to do. It's kind of like about telling them what you know. Like you can offer, I'm, I'm getting communication is key here for you in learning how to exchange these gifts that you've been given. Uh, and just breathe. Stay grounded. Um, that's a 29, which goes into an 11. What an exciting reading here. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is amazing. Okay, I've got, there's no place like home. Some of you could be literally, um, literally getting a new place to live, uh, creating some kind of sanctuary. Um, I also got round and round that you have come into the deeper knowledge here. You understand that the wheel turns, right? And, you know, we can turn our own wheel as well. Notice uh, the 25th there, 2-5. Uh, somebody 7 might be also, um, I've been getting this a lot, lady. I might be speaking to somebody with a life path of 7 here, okay? Look that up if you don't know how to find your life path. Um Oops. Yep. New day. Okay. Hope this has been helpful. Please take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.